Okay, I wanted to talk about genetics, and for those of you that have been interested in genetics as a whole, uh, we want to help try to make you guys better breeders for those that are interested. Uh, we've got Toby out here playing right now, but uh, we're going to talk about how your genetics can uh, infect your color and improve your breeding tactics to get things that you want to get. So to start with we have the genetic string right here. This genetic string is the basis for what we will use to to describe our color and how the color is modified as it uh, transitions down the string. Uh, as you'll note, we have several different letters here. Each letter represents a locus point or a loci on the genetic string. We also have an underscore here at each location representing the second gene uh, that is uh, either un unknown or could be uh, a copy of the of the original gene. So. Uh, to get started, each point again is a locus point. Each locus point contains two genes. Uh, you, each rabbit will have a genetic code or a color code. Uh, so for each locus point, each rabbit can generally uh, contain um, two alleles or two genes and each parent will provide one gene to each locus point. Now we don't get to control what, lo what gene is transmitted by the parent, so you, you don't get to control that, but by knowing what your genetic string of your rabbit is, which we'll get into detail later, um, you will be able to determine what your best odds are in, in creating a certain color or an extension of, of the existing color that you have. So this is, this is the basics. Uh, I'm just going to run through this real quick just to kind of give you an idea of what these letters stand for. A is going to set the pattern of your rabbit. B is going to set, uh, is going to determine whether your rabbit is black or chocolate based. Uh, C is, uh, is going to be uh, part of the color, uh, either removing color, a modifier, uh, it's going, it can remove uh, orange shading, it can uh, move color around on your rabbit. D is for dilution, meaning every color has a dilute, such as black into blue. Uh, you could have chocolate into lilac, those sorts of things. E is going to be for extension of color, um, whether your rabbit is harlequin based or non-extension tort that's going to be found in here also steel is going to get into there but we're going to talk briefly about steel but steel is really kind of a, a mess to work in uh, en is the broken gene which is labeled for the, for the english spotting gene this will make your rabbit broken or not not broken is like broken down but whether it has uh, patches of white on it as well as other color. Uh, the silvering gene, what you're going to see is going to be more breed specific. You can find this in Netherland Dwarf with the uh, champagnes, but they, again it's not an approved color yet, it's still in development. Dutch, this is the, the gene or the locus point which controls Dutch pattern. Uh, Lutino gene, uh, again, going to be very, very specific, probably something you're not going to be finding very often. Same with wideband, unless you, you're working in uh, some of the, uh, the very red rufous color, and uh, you're going to see in some tans and in certain breeds. Some breeds don't really have much of that going on, but you'll, you will see that from time to time, but not often. And then lastly, the Vienna locus which is responsible for blue-eyed white and is actually going to be a really good lesson. We're going to wait for that to the very end because 
it is a it, 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 it does have some significant rules uh, that you have to follow if you're going to work in Vienna, uh, which is responsible again for the blue eyed white or the the Vienna marked or the Vienna carriers. So those are the basics of the genetic string. Uh, 